Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. We're building our, our fourth cow shed over here, and we've got our Makita Sophia statue over here. And it changes clothes during the winter time. It's real interesting. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, I think it it was because they were going after water. And it's still sitting there after all this time. So these are the two houses that uh, that they came from. All right, there's Sophia. They came to get the water when this cow shed was being demolished and somehow got stuck there. And we still have our two cows. And it turns out these are the two cows that went missing from this cow shed. I had put in one bowl and, and two cows and then two more cows and tossed one more in. And none of them were, were found, or two of them weren't found later. It's these two right here. I can't click on them to do anything like that. And I, they're not showing up in here, so I can't use that as a way to maybe send them to a new cow shed and get them moving again. So that's odd. Also, where are we, June? Yeah. Ran into a problem. I, I let the game run a little bit after I turn off the last episode to get this building queue down a bit. And... I couldn't get hardly anybody to work over here. They're still sewing it all the way in June. They just didn't want to go over here and work. They are now. Man, they're working like crazy. And I got to thinking afterwards, I had turned off men and women in order to get more of the construction done. And I think that limited my workforce. So let's make sure that is changed before the next season comes. So we're not going to have much in the way of sunflowers this year. That's pretty obvious. Everything else did a pretty good job. Yeah, you're all here. And that's still uh, Mikola Ivarinko. And you, 23. You guys are set for life now. No problem there. Um, so we have four good fields of hemp. The hemp from last season, now we're in June, is down to one and one and a tenth. So, yeah, there's not enough hemp here to do us to do that industry enough to uh, keep the season going so i'm wondering if we truly need this much wheat what if we did two fields of hemp or two farms of hemp and then every third or fourth year do a bunch of wheat what have we got sitting in wheat over here 33 otherwise in the town as a whole where is that word 40 there's 40 wheat total these guys are or these guys here are churning out the flour as fast as they can. Flour is building up 16.3, more than we can possibly eat. So that is an idea. Let's think about that. How would I do that? That's all wheat right now. What if we switch you to hemp? Hemp was two, so two and a fallow. Okay, let's do something here. Let's kick out every one of these a fan on my computer just started going crazy there well, it surprised me, I thought it was outside the wall I guess I've got to tear that computer apart and get a vacuum cleaner out and get it all cleaned up I'm guessing there's some dirt on a fan blade but it's suddenly gotten really noisy uh, I'm going to take all these down I can't do anything with the orange one that's in current production but I can use that as a way to uh, messenger from hmm you have or oh, you're offering flour okay that does me no good uh, cows I'm kind of curious about but look at our money right now we're actually in trouble we are expenses 840 wages are killing us but it is not coming in at near the speed that I had hoped. Interesting. We need a huge shot in the arm. We really do. You guys want to buy what? Potatoes? You guys want to buy potatoes. What have we got? I think we have no choice. I think we've got to make this happen. There's 20 right there. How many are in town? Potatoes. Only 13 more. 30 potatoes isn't going to do us much good. How much is stored in here? Potatoes. Five. And the rest of the potatoes are over here. Seven, so there's our 13. What's in the market stalls? We're at one speed one, yeah. Market stalls, there's one potato, uh, one, one and a half. 
one and a little over one and up in here boy I don't know what happens when the town goes bankrupt I really don't but I, we're just paying too much in wages I, I, that's the only thing I can think of doing is, is to cut out as many jobs as possible which means bankrupting families wow this is tough if we could sell shoes then we would make up for that, that money really quick which makes me wonder if cattle isn't truly the industry to dive into and get a firm foundation together in order to support the rest of the town. With enough shoes being sold annually to our people and out in trade, we could probably then afford to leave people employed. Hmm. Right now we need a shot in the arm. How do we develop it? Let's go to our town hall, right over there, and look at the economy. I guess that's the same one, isn't it? Okay. Uh, market produce prices. It's probably time to go ahead and up a lot of this and get some more income flowing in. Um, take the wages down a notch. The rent back up to 0.3. And as well, let's go ahead and get this deal going in here. And, boy, do I bring in more potatoes or not? Well, let's get the deal going. Let's get the 20 going out. Right there, potatoes. We've got 20 of them, so let's go to 10, deal, and another one, deal. So two are going to come in real quick and grab the 20. Let's increase... I just saw the hay go up. You guys at 10 each now? 9.6. You're going to be at 10, aren't you? There you are. Over there, 10, 10, and 10. So 40 hay sitting in there. That's probably enough to do what we want to do, isn't it? I think so. I was going to... I have my notes down here to add more hay production in here. I got to think and maybe I really don't need to. Um, potatoes, we have 13 out there. What are we going to use really just until the harvest starts in June? Okay, that, that, that helped decide it right there. Let's bring 10 more in. Uh, shift click. Nope. Let's do it that way. There we go. So let's bring two more or 10 more in. Two workers ought to be enough to do it, and as we get to 15 days, so somewhere like underneath the one right there in the the date, that ought to uh, that ought to by then have 10 more in there. Um, just thinking of Ribnik. No, Ribnik, Ratslav Ribnik. He's 19 now. Is he still? Where did we see him? We kind of saw him over here, didn't we? There he is. He's still working on oil. He's still maxed out. Got nowhere to go with it. Okay, I'm going to take you guys up to 30 as well. And put one more in here. Go get him. So that he can keep working, so we can keep uh, using up the sunflower that we've got. Now, you just started growing. Over there, we have a little bit of growth. Compare that growth there to field number one that worked fine over here. We're going on half. And we're coming... I think it grows in... Well, no, we have a ripeness process too. So I'm going to say we go till about the end of June on growth and then we start ripening through July and then we start har harvesting in August. So, yeah, that's a problem. It really is. Hmm. I was over here. I want to get more done, but I don't want to lose my uh, my timing over there field one <clears throat> I want hemp so let's add two to everything we'll figure out what we're going to do let's get hemp in here instead of wheat or in uh, as well as wheat hmm let's think about that hemp uses two blues wheat uses none that could work Ooh, so wheat, no, hemp, wheat, hemp, fallow. That pause in between the two blues will allow a plowing right here to bring some blue back to add to the first one. Okay, so hemp, wheat, hemp, fallow. That's the new pattern for this one. And this close enough still to get delivered over here too. So, don't know where I'm at here. So wheat, hemp, fallow, and then click away. You are hemp. Hemp, wheat, hemp, fallow. Okay. 
fallow, hemp, wheat, hemp. That hurts the brain. <laughs> wheat, hemp, fallow, hemp. Okay. Um, timing is still fine over there. Oh. We're going to be repeating a lot of patterns, aren't we? Is that okay? Let's lay it out that way and see what we think. Hemp, fallow, hemp, hemp, fallow, hemp. That means one year is going to have almost no growth going on. That's probably no good. So I'll have to mix it up a little bit here. But this one is a fallow. Then we want a hemp, wheat, and a hemp. Okay. So seeing that, what do we do here? We need to assume that two of those, say these two right here, are hemp. So, and we need to alter it later. So that's hemp. This is wheat, which will give us wheat that first year, next year. Okay, wheat, and then hemp, and then fallow. What does that look like now? Do we have a fallow in every single year? We don't in this year. So we need to alter one. Otherwise, we have wheat. Those two are the same, those two are the same, and those two are the same. I need to alter one of them. So basically I need a fallow. Okay, which one is the worst? Uh, click away. Which one is the worst uh, this one is? It needs a fallow immediately. Okay, so you're going to be the first fallow. Then you're going to be hemp. Then you're going to be wheat. And I'll just have to remember to come back and change you to hemp later. Okay, so that sets it us, us up for next year. And the nutrients will work out fine, and we'll get, you know, basically three out of four years will be mostly hemp out of here. Everything, and then weed will filter in at a fast enough rate to maintain plenty of flour in town. We're at 18 now. Yeah, in fact, we, we are at 18. Let's, let's go down to one person in each of these. And right there, 389, did this happen? Um, potatoes, no, you guys are just about here though, right? I think you're right there. What am I not getting here? That's not you, is it? No. Have you been here and gone? Couldn't be. I still have 22 potatoes. Okay, I don't see you on the map. You'd be out of here. I don't see you on your way through here. You're not hiding in there. You're still coming, but I don't see the cart. I wish I could zoom in a little. My horse, there is a horse over there, but I don't get the sense that they're coming. I'm not paused. Well, let's kick it up to two and see if anything moves on this chart. What am I not getting? Potatoes. Export. Ten each. This is all correct. They're not traveling this path. They're not in here. We don't have credit for it happening yet. There they are. Where were you guys hiding? Interesting. Maybe they showed up on the map just as I, walked, I came back over here again. All right, you're gonna take the potatoes, and I still need to be aware of when day one hits, right there, six more days. So meanwhile, we'll just let some more construction happen. Cow shed's about to go in, and yeah, we still have our uh, Makita Sophia so, uh, statue there. Mm -hmm. Are you here yet? Five days. So, I was going to say we could buy more cows and get these more fully stocked so we can start slaughtering and selling shoes. But, I don't... So let's slow it down. Let's think about that. We could just start taking out the bulls that we've got. We don't need any more oxen. Though, what I really need to do is to continue to take down 
um, any unnecessary labor. I've only got one in each of these. I want to maintain one, so we've got someone to, to feed the oxen if that really is a thing. We could take you down to three, which you really are. Thatch is hurting. Well, Thatch nine, okay, you're working. Over here, watching that first. Three more days over here. Smithy, 500 nails, kind of need that going. Um, carpentry, we do not need. Over here, we need two of you guys. You're there, all right? Let's just try to remember you're there, or you need to go back to here. Take you guys down for now. Over here, I think I'm gonna go back to the two and refine all through there. Um, I noticed something over here. I'm going to pause because I think we're about to run out of time. That didn't pause. There we go. You know what I did? I hit the tilde. One, two, and three works these guys. So in my mind, I went down one more to the tilde to, to pause. And it didn't work. I think I've done that a few other episodes where I really thought it was paused and I didn't. It was hitting the wrong button. Um, I've noticed when I was editing that these guys are getting all kinds of firewood because they're stealing it from these guys. <laughs> they're working their butts off making this run to get firewood. These guys are running over here and getting firewood. That's because I've got it checked to go ahead and take from other warehouses. That should be fine, but in that case, I don't need to hire this many guys. They're, they can, you know, they can make the short trip. So we'll do that. We'll put... Well, we have three over here. I'm only maintaining that many, though. Hmm. Got rid of two. Got rid of three. Let's put back in one. Okay, we'll do that. Um, one, one. That's pretty much all the jobs, isn't it? Got the one over here, which is still not doing anything. I don't want to get rid of Rotslav, though, because that's where I know he is, and I can go back and check on him. So I'll leave him there. Hopefully one of those guys will jump into this slot and go and get some sunflower oil. Oh, they have been. Are they taking it from here? Sunflower oil, six. Because he's still got his five. Maybe he's producing it just as fast. He's got another sunflower coming in. Could be. Okay, back to this and two days. Okay, run you for speed two for a little while. And I can't quite see over here right now. We'll come right back to that. I want this one. There was a cow shed built. All right. Potatoes. Pause. Hmm. I don't know what has been added and what has been tossed into these carts to know where to go with it. So let's do this. Um, I was hoping for 10 more. So let's do like four trades of three and see how it comes in. It may just cancel the last one or two of those. I think that's a way, to, a way to safely do it. So let's do trades of three. That's 24. Uh, deal. We'll do four of those. And hmm, if I had staggered these, it'd be different. We'll just have to see if 12 show up six days from now. Yeah. We'll see how that works. Because we've got 15 right now, but I don't know how many. Do I know how many? Apparently, out of the 20, okay, there should be 12 left for the original one. And there's 14, so we have brought only two over. So we're still waiting for these guys to reserve. we got potato coming in. Oh, that's maybe the, the sale. Maybe all three of them are, are working on it. They are. You see all these little, little legs running back and forth. So they're busy loading carts. They're not going to go out and get more stuff right now. Hmm. So many of those deals that are coming in are probably all going to cancel. That's probably so. Anyway, 455, that's going to help us. We're spending five to 600 a year now, or losing out of our budget from all of these wages. So, boy, that really hurts. I know what I was going to do. Back to slow speed again. Because so much time goes by while I'm still thinking about how to survive the next winter. Um, once the next winter happens, we're going to have another load of clothing coming in and another load of sunflower and more potatoes to potentially sell. So, you know, it's, it's possible. But I do now want to get our wages back down. So let's take you down there. And we'll do all of them. Just get everybody back down to normal 100%. Right there. 
And this one, too. In fact, I had to boost this one up quite a bit. No, just to the 110. Okay. So that's going to help there. Oh, we're still hired here. Um, yeah, that's hurting. Anybody? I guess it can be anybody right now. You're the you're in the number one slot, so you get to stay. Now, cowshed. I know what I was going to do. I was thinking, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the family out of money. You're a new family, just moved in. Furthest away from pretty much all the jobs. Hmm. The Hubich family. Hubich? Hubich? Hmm. Pillip? Okay, you were, I've seen you a couple of times. And Nelia. And three kids. And they're broke. Oh. Hmm. You are Village House, you're a constructor, and you're unemployed. Yeah, this is your closest work. If I were to do that, would I get Anelia out of here? You're right there. Okay, well, we'll keep you employed. And we'll... Marina, where do you live? Find home. You're over there. You're doing great. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna swap you out. Sorry. Okay, that will help them out. Anyway, um... Soldering bowls. That's what I've been trying to get to all this time. You work. Thank you, Yaveni. Great. You're going to do what? Over here. We have cow cow bowl cow bowl. All right. This bowl is now set to slaughter. I don't know what is considered old for a cow in Austria years. So can the cows go to 10? Will they produce milk during that time? Is it only when they get to the older age that they finally produce milk? All of those things I don't know yet. Uh, we'll definitely take you. That leaves us with a bowl that's 11 and a bowl that's 1. Over here, you have got a bowl that is 1. And a lot of cows. I'm thinking cow, cow, cow. All right, we have three cows in there. We have mostly bowls in here. So for this, first of all, let's get somebody employed here. I like to do two just to make sure it happens because sometimes when I when I uh, bring in the harvest or so these things empty I want to make sure that uh, I've got the best odds of somebody staying in here fours 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 so that's all worked because um, I want to move one bowl and one and a couple of cows into here but I don't want to do it until we have supplies so that's got to wait so let's just try to remember to save an extra bowl. Uh, otherwise, we have a bowl in all of them. Let's get rid of the five-year-old bowl. Let's leave one bowl, get rid of two of these. That leaves two cows in here and a baby. All right, so in here, that leaves one, two, three, four cows. We'll put two cows into that one, put one bowl into that one. And over here, we've got one, two, three cows. And lots of babies over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of the oldest cow as well. So there's four cattle that can be moved into slaughter and to make hides and get shoes going. When that happens, I want to set up shoes in here and see if we can grab them and do a sale by the end of the year. See if that will help us out. Um, whatever happened, I see someone pulling in. You are going the long way around to get into there. You're most likely pulling in to get... Um, in fact, that could be all four of you, couldn't it? All stacked on top of each other? I did four orders at once. Did you cancel out all the other orders? No, they're all still here. So is that all of you stacked in at once? Anyway, there's two left there, which means we don't even have three, do we? So I'll be curious to see what happens there. All those deals will probably go away. But we got out of it what we could. Sunflower oil we could do. It may be because they were all here doing this one, you know, loading up carts. So they never went out to go get more. It might be a thing. Um, let's watch this a moment. Let's kick the speed back up while the slaughtering's happening down there. Um, threes. They're all theoretically still in the queue waiting their turn 
we have three potatoes, one's still going to go into there. That was a house being built. Two potatoes, ten of ten. Now what's going to happen? <clears throat> You're going to load. You're still loading like crazy. Two potatoes. Uh, over here. One of three. What happens when we only get two of three? Waiting for a potato. One of three. Zero. I wonder if you'll wait for a certain amount of time before you give up. While well, they race off to try to get more potatoes. Right over there. Family's out of money. Okay, you guys are farm and laborer. If I can get Philip back into a real job again, that would be nice. Real job for him living out here, I don't know where. You know, if I were to pop in two more over here, I doubt that he would move in up here. I have a feeling that only people who live in this area will. So I can't really help him out that way. Um, do we still have a deal? You are gone. You are leaving. And what happened? One of three. And you've left. Interesting. I wonder if we actually got the one. I thought it would have canceled the deal if the three weren't there. Otherwise, you can, you know, say, come out and get a hundred, and then whatever is the actual number that happens to be there would be fine. Interesting. Well, there's 1.5 in there right now. We're unloading three into there right now. Is there another cart on its way? I don't get the sense that there will be. Has this gone away? Well, we've, we've taken out the one off of there, but... Yeah, I don't know. We'll let him disappear. Which... Hello? Oh, family's moving in. Okay. There's a magic portal right there. Yeah, you didn't know that, but... Uh, there's a there's a rift in the, in the, in the time uh, uh, stream. And it... Uh, <laughs> that's where they're appearing from. Um... Okay, so there. Potatoes are coming in. They're going to come in faster than we can produce them now. So let's take you down to something like five at the moment. Otherwise, we're going to bankrupt the town. Potatoes, yeah, they're already gone from here. So we've now got to wait for the next harvest to come in, which is coming, going to happen here real soon. Um, and it's going to happen better this time because we'll have more houses near the farms. Ooh, good. So with that, I don't think we need another fishing dock going right now. We can't pay, can't afford to employ it. There's 27 fish. Let's just keep the houses going. Now we won't. Pause. Get this one done, and we're done for a moment because we've got the uh, the harvest about to start, and we'll just concentrate on that. Then, I guess we'll just play it by ear after that. Um, slow down and check the new cow shed. We got our stuff in. Okay, let's have women only and no laborers. Okay, and we'll fire that one and open up the job to that one. Okay, we're good there. And let's make that swap out while we're waiting. One. What happened here? There's supposed to be an extra bull waiting for us in this one. It didn't happen. Okay, well, two cows from this one. Right there, right there. Don't get stuck. I wonder if this needs to be done in the wintertime. I wonder if doing it while they're out there is what doomed these two. I may have just doomed two more. Don't know. We've got a newborn over here. Nice. So over here... Okay, well, the 11-month bull is going to have to go into there instead. And... We'll go with that. That leaves a bull and two cows in pretty much each of the sheds. Although, that one... Yeah, something happened here. There were more in that one. Pretty sure there were. Okay. You need to be set to use fallow. And with that, I think we're we're set. Now we just got to wait for them to grow and, and get our herd going. Otherwise, we had four for slaughter. I didn't see any of them in there. So this must have four hides... Five hides. Five. Did I mark five or four? 
Hmm. Well, the beef is all being hauled out of here before we can do anything about it. Is it being taken to the, uh, like this one right here? Beef is there. Beef is coming out. Okay. Uh, quite a bit of it's over here. Did you guys manage to get any of it? Beef? Got some. I don't know if I showed you this last time. A little park that I created over here. Went ahead and pulled the other stall out of here and put in some benches and threw some trees around it. And I think that's going to be a nice little... Oh, town center area for, for these right here. Let's get you... Well... Yeah, let's wait for the uh, the harvest to... to uh, well... Now, yeah, let's wait for the harvest. I was pretty disappointed in what happened over here last time, so let's get this completed this time. Um... I feel like I was in the middle of something. I was. You are done. That is Yaveni, and sorry, but uh, you're out of work now, and I need to get you up and running. So maybe Yaveni can run over here, and uh, and run this one. Nope, we got Yahor, uh, Sipchenko. So you are going to convert all of that to leather, and when I get shoes going, I want to trigger this. So, hmm, where are you right now? Uh, show paths. You're right there. You're heading home. Let's speed you up and get you over there and started. Meanwhile, do I already have a shoemaker? I do not. Let's get the first leather made. I uh, lost you right there. And right there. Where am I looking? Are you inside? I guess you're inside. Okay. Find home. Oh, you were at home, and now you're walking to work. Right, right. Heading to get a cart, because you can't just carry a leather by yourself, so you gotta get a cart. <laughs> so have the carts near the production buildings. Picking up 10 one tenth hides. So 10 hide sections. That was a house building, and we are just right there. Pause. Just entered. Our harvest. Okay. All right. Let's fill these these jobs. That should feel easy this time with this many people living here. I hope. There. And we got everything set to men and women now, so no problem there. And all the wages are equal now. This should be the hardest one to fill. Now let's see if what I thought was true. Actually, I do have all of these set for higher wages. One ten. 110, 100, and we lost somebody, and 110. I think I might take these all down and make everything even. Right there. So what happened to us? One is missing, one is missing. You're both there, and you're both there. All right, farm-wise, five, five. We have a lot more people living in town now. Okay, that worked out well. Okay. Question is, do we open up for laborers and get this done even faster? Family's out of money, but you're not working right now. And then have them spend even more time unemployed, but they get a big burst of money all at once. I, mean, I could open you up to like two laborers there, make sure that all the prices are still at 100 and two laborers there. Boy, they're filling in instantly. This one I had laborers set for... Nope, not anymore, okay. So two laborers there. It's just there's a lot of people waiting for work right now. It doesn't show it up there. And then two laborers there. And this one didn't fill quite so instantly, did it? Okay, cow sheds. You still got people? One, one, two, two. Do we still have fishermen? We do. Fish is coming in. Do we still have carpenter or uh, uh, loggers? No, because we didn't need them. It's probably time to put one back into there. And don't need you. We do need you, and you're still there. That's pillup. Oh, okay. So there's two pillups. Okay, that's that explains it. Still have our two in there. All right, the harvest is coming in. We've got a lot of the, the building queue taken care of. We have houses scattered around through most of the important areas. Once this harvest is done, I'll open up all the construction here for the winter. And then we'll take it down to maybe four workers in the farms each. 
until everything gets brought in. And I'll make the mistake of last time where they were still bringing things in. I thought I saw stuff still in that field um, all the way into the spring, which isn't a good thing. Now, which field was it that I needed to swap out? There should be two wheats next to each other. That one's got to become your field five right there. So when that one's done, I've got to swap you out to hemp. Okay. Otherwise, um, nothing else going on. I didn't miss any warnings. No. 545. I wanted to kick the speed up and let it run. Is there any reason why I can't? I don't think so. So let's go up to three for a while. Hmm. Okay. Salaries. Two thirds of the year is done. That's roughly two thirds of last year's monies. Yep, that's the same. Local sales. That's a little more than two thirds. So we're going to come out a little bit ahead there. Messenger from. So one and M. You're the ones who want oil, right? Yes. Okay. Let's make this happen. We've got 30 available. All right, let's do two 15s right off the bat. Um, there, sunflower, oil, 15. That's really going to make our budget. There's 300 coming in. Good. So deal, and then oil, deal. And sunflower, that's going to be the end of the sunflower, though. We have 16 in there. And we're going to get some out of this, but not much. Um... This is the one. The well, sunflower, I can never read it. It looks like seven point something. Okay. I don't know if that counts what's in all the fields. I'm sorry, the uh, uh, sunflower harvest up there, fifth from the bottom. Kind of overwrites the numbers. Um, if it just counts what has been picked and is in buckets over here, or if everything that is available, but you see growth-wise, we only got to here. That got a little bit better, and that one was a little bit better yet, but yeah, it's, it's, it was pretty bad. Um, and you, Sunflower uses, how much of this? You're going to be fallow next. Okay, because there wasn't a, a minimum amount there to hit it, which would have been 100%. Uh, yeah, so that would not have worked. Okay. Um... I was doing something. Sunflower. Okay, we need to get much more in. But this is going to be our last run. You're sitting there at five. Why are you guys not bringing more in? Well, okay. Because we maxed out. Sorry. Yeah, my fault. Okay. So potatoes, five of five. We have potatoes coming now. Though I hate for the, the, uh, the traders to come and just empty this field out early. Hmm. Well, we could possibly get one more potato run in. Potatoes in the fields. 15. Again, don't know if that's buckets or if that is all four. Does it increase? 16. It increases. It's the buckets. So it's what has been picked. Good. Got that answer. So there's a whole lot more than seven. In fact, that should be... Well, again, you can't read it. I think it's still a 7 in there, but they're not getting much per bucket here because very little of it was actually grown. Okay. Um, over here, you're down, and Ratslav is, is busy working again. So... Let's just do the 215s. I'm guessing, yeah, we've got very little left for the town. And we do make money selling it in the town. Like we saw right here. Uh, local sales, we are over what we would have been at last year's rate, so we have sold more. Okay. So, yeah, it is important to sell them in your market stalls. I'm going to guess, I haven't been able to prove it, I don't know how to prove it. It's There's too much randomness in here, but I'm going to guess that you get the same amount selling these items in your market stalls as you do selling it to the other towns so your trader. You're just going to get in one-tenth intervals instead of one you know, 1.0s out of here. So you're, you're selling much smaller quantities, but you're selling it to so many people. That I'm thinking that, that uh, it, would come, it would work out the same. But I do want to sell shoes. This is what I want to do before we get going. Hire a worker for there. Hiring option. 
Hmm. Maybe that'll be... Well, we'll see. Maybe that will be next. Leather. We have leather. Okay, well. All right, let's speed this up. Let's see if it's possible. She is where right now? Uh, show path. And speed you up. You're right there. So you're... What is that? It's a market stall. A uh, cart stall. Anyway, you're over here. You are going to get leather. You're right there. You're running back. Right there. And you're going to make a shoe. Pause. No, you dropped off the leather. And that 0.5 leather went to 0.1. What's that all about? Is it 0.5 leather per shoe? Okay, well, we're awaiting shoes. When that happens, pause. They're already reserved, though. Boy, it happens so fast. I can't grab shoes here, can I? I can. Now it's available. Let's put... Five shoes in here. And those those original... Those are already reserved by somebody. 0.03 of them. But maybe we'll grab some of them. We'll try and sell them to... These folks. I believe want shoes. Right? Demands sunflower oil. Over here you demand potatoes. So you demand shoes. And we'll play with that next time. See if that makes a huge difference. I know it, it comes in at 35 per is what I've been told. But I think we're getting it through these as well. So I don't know if we're going to see much of a difference. But I think this is a good stopping point. I've been, going, I've been, I've been rambling along for long enough this time. And yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time folks. Bye bye.